Hi everybody, this is Sika Shadding from the Bronx. I am chilling, having a really good time. I'm getting in the groove of things, making my video. This will probably be the fourth video. The name of this video is going to be Straight Woman, Why Are You Insulted? I had just talked about it on the last video and I told you I was going to make a video about it. Straight Woman, Why Are You Insulted? Keep in mind, do understand something. I have a lot of wonderful girlfriends that I like to deal with. And um, we have so many wonderful things in common. We all, there's a five of us. Hopefully one day, because I got my Casio camera, I'm hoping one day that we can all make a video. All five of us, you know, with cocktails. And I can introduce each and every one of them to you guys. And you guys get to know them too. Because keep in mind, all these videos, um, I'm going to be talking about my life, about fashion, about me traveling, the, you know, the trials and tribulations of, of, doing, of doing a product line. And it's all going to be, I just want to involve you guys in the whole process. So there are a lot of things that I really want you guys to see. And a lot of people I want you guys to meet. So that is going to be coming up very soon. If I can get all five of them in the same room. Because once we start drinking and having fun, we don't want no cameras in front of us. But I'm going to fool them. Maybe I can do a punk issue. Like you said, the cameras are there, but they don't know. I hope they don't get mad at me. But I want y'all to meet them. But anyway, this video is going to be Straight Woman, Why Is You Insulted? Now, keep in mind, I have a lot of, stra a lot of straight girlfriends. They tell me all the time, Sikai, say I love you like sliced white bread with butter. But if any of my boyfriends ever came up gay, I would be absolutely devastated and absolutely insulted and I don't know what I would do and I would go kill myself and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like... I'm like, why? Why? It, it, it's it, One thing, you guys have to understand something. In this day and age, and, it, and mind you, it's always been this way. It's just that a lot of you have kept your head in the sand. And so were your grandmothers and your grandmothers' grandmothers. Gay men and sexually adventurous men have been around for eons. It is a man's prerogative to explore his sexuality, especially when he's young. That's called sowing his oats. And there are a number of men that are not gay, that have had same-sex experiences. That's called sexual exploration. Every human does it. Every human wants to do it. Every human thinks about it. I'm pretty sure there are quite a few of you women out there. You know, you may not have acted on it for religious reasons, um, for whatever reason, but the thoughts are always there. There are many men that have acted upon these. It doesn't mean... Now, in my, in my opinion, again, I don't pet people in boxes like y'all do. It doesn't mean that he's gay. It means that he's a sexually diverse person. I've known, as, I've known as situations where as men have actually had uh, same-sex experiences, and they've never had them ever again. They just wanted to see how the grass was on the other side of the fence, at least once in their lives. And they've never explored ever again. They've went on to marry, to have kids, and have great relationships with their wives, you know, with their women. Now, you mean to tell me after 10 years of having a great relationship with your husband, you find out in his past that he slept around with Harry one night, and you're devastated? Bitch, please. That's very much a bitch sit down moment. You know what I'm saying? Bitch sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. You didn't even know this man. You had no idea who the hell he was. Didn't even know that he existed. You know what I'm saying? But yet you just, you know, yet you're clutching your pearls. You just feel all conflummix because you find out that he had a relationship with the same sex. That I don't understand. And it, it's almost like it's a double-edged sword because I'm thinking to myself, of course, I'm like, well, y'all love me. But what is so dastardly nasty and filthy about me? that would insult you if one of your men, and mind you, you've never met him before, had a relationship with me. And mind you, you say that you love me and we're the best of friends. You know, we break bread together, we sleep together, we're the best friends, we have slumber parties together. Why is that so hurtful to women? Why? It's not, it's not like it's any competition. I have a penis, you have a vagina. There is no competition. That's one, that's one thing I never really could fully, fully, fully understand about, about 
about the whole dynamic behind sexuality. And I really feel, it's not even about opening up sexuality. I really feel, sexually, I really feel honestly, if women became a little bit more honest with themselves, and if they really tried to look beyond, if they looked beyond the veil into the realm of male sexuality, and if they were honest, they wouldn't be so hurt. They would not be hurt. I, a long time ago, when I was, growing up as a young chippy. I was always told how men are dogs and they can't be trusted. Better watch your back. And I'm like, that's, and you know, and then I started growing up and then of course I've had, I've had my bad experiences concerning relationships, uh, concerning men. Um, but I still believe in my heart and I know this to be true, that men are wonderful. Can't deal with, can't, I wouldn't want to live in a world without them. They're beautiful. They cause a lot of confusion and bullshit. <laughs> Just joking. But they're beautiful people. They're, 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 they are the beautiful sex. And they make this world lovely. And they make it wonderful. You know, I really wish I lived on a planet full of females. Because if, understand something. If this was Venus and all gay men lived here, this would be a fabulous world. There'd be gardens everywhere. Every apartment would be decorated beautifully. You just smell incense and feel one. That's for all, you know, some of you nasty bitches out there that had the mindset of a man. You just don't clean up after you. I'm not, that's not for all females, you know. But if I lived in a universe where there was all, everything was just wonderful, you know, just all feminine and, and just womanhood, that'd be awesome. But about two years ago, I came, I, I, I came to the point where it's like, you know what, I really can't live with, I can't be a gay, call myself a gay man. And knowing how much I love men. I wouldn't want to live in a world without men, in all honesty. Men are wonderful. Even if, There are many times that I really don't want to deal with them on a personal level. But I just like to know that they're there. I like to know that they, they're over there. I can look at them. You know? Men are wonderful, definitely. But again, I just don't understand why, why would you be insulted? That's in his past. He hasn't dealt with... And then, and then what really knocks my socks off is that a lot of you are so uneducated and just so ignorant about the point whereas um, ab about the whole dynamic of human sexuality just because he slept with one man does not make him gay now if it's habitual behavior or repeated behavior then he's bisexual but a lot of you refuse to even see the grays in this whole situation like a, a good example is your man gay if he you know if he decides to uh, cheat on you or before he even met you if he decides to deal with a transsexual, pre, uh, um, you know, a post-op transsexual, you know, is that, yeah, post-op transsexual. She's had the sausage cut off. She's had, she has her newly, her new vagina. It works beautifully. You know what I'm saying? She's completely a woman. You would never know that she at one point in time was born as a boy. Is he then gay? And a lot of you out there would say, yes, he's, but he, he's still, because that was a man. He's gay. That's a faggot. He's gay. And my comment to you is get your head out your ass and stop smelling the scent of your own shit. And let's join the real world. No, he is not gay. He is sexually adventurous. <laughs> that man ain't gay. <laughs> that young chippy probably fooled him. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> and sometimes, a lot of times these men folks do know. But to keep in mind, they, I see all this to say. Because now, now we're going to wind it back. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. We're going to wind it back to the whole Terrell situation. The Terrell situation. In the black community, and I'm, and I'm saying this specifically to the black community, because that's where I live, and that's where my people are, and that's where my love is. I mean, I love ev everybody's my brothers and sisters, but I live amongst the black and Hispanic community. We have to learn to be more accepting of each other sexually. You be gonna have to learn how to put that Bible down and start joining the real world and saying, you know what? I can either continue to Bible thump and ostracize and alienate people and be in a little corner by myself, but thumping my Bible, thump, 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 or I can put that Bible down every once in a while and join the world and be happy and learn to live with people and learn to accept people. It's one of the reasons why Mr. Terrell um, wasn't able to show the world who he really was because we're not very forgiving of people living their truly authentic lives. We're not. Anyway, I love you guys, and thank you for listening. Bye.